Hi guys, welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be doing a walk around a Joiner's van in the UK. It's a brand new Volkswagen Transporter, E, e Transporter, the electric one. Um, I'll just give you a quick show around what it's like on the inside, how I've got it set up and everything. It's not the best setup because I've not got racks and all that kind of stuff. I never get time to actually sit there, well, work, have a day off and rack it out, but um, I've got it all set up how I like it. I can just pull my toolboxes out. I've actually bought the DeWalt racking to try and fit in there, but um, I'm not sure it's going to work. So, uh, without delay, let's jump in and have a quick look. So, a quick show you around the front, if you've not seen in the e transporter. Uh, there it is. Lovely van. Obviously, these seat covers don't come with it. I got these off, uh, I think it was eBay, I think it was about 100 quid for the set, so they make it look like um, the sport model, but they're kind of. It's not leather, it's like the UPPC, but it's good stuff. Anyway, good cover. There you got that. Um, there's plenty of storage space. You've got a glove box that's absolutely rammed with... Oh, I mean, it smell is look. Just, just had it washed just for you guys. That's full of crap in there, but you've got plenty of space in there. Uh, you've got a little storage space in there. Good cup holders, because my friend's got the old one where the cup holders used to pop out, and they're, they're absolutely rubbish. They just broke. Cup holder there. Um, you've got the two... USB uh, C ports for charging up. You've also got your 12 volt. Um, obviously, I just use the two because I have one for an iPhone and one for me uh, Samsung phone I'm working on. You've got plenty of door space, got plenty of pockets everywhere. All, all electric, all the mod cans. Uh, I'll go around, show you the front. That's the. The only thing on this one was a bit, bit miffed about. We didn't get the uh, electric headlamps. But got the nice new steering wheel again, little pockets everywhere, good storage on the front, keep me file with all my paperwork in, all your receipts and everything. Um, you get the air conditioning, uh, climate control, obviously it comes as uh, automatic because it's electric. Um, you've got a great little sensor that tells you if any of the doors open, so sometimes the back door, it feels like it's closed but it's not, and they'll, they'll show up red like that, so it just lets you know that the back doors are still open. Again, you've got plenty of door pockets. Electric mirrors. There you go. So there's my setup. So obviously I've done reviews on the Tough System 2. So I've got that. So I've got me. Um, I've just got the new Hikoki cordless 36 volt router. So that goes in the bottom. I've got me uh, my fell plunge saw in the bottom of that one because they're the two things that come out last usually when you're on a job for doing worktops. Um, I've got this one's filled with my tools. I've just got the new sh Shadow Foam. Big shout out to Shadow Foam. So I've managed to get that kit all sorted out in there. So it's all Hikoki and the Shadow Foam. I've cut it all out. I've uh, just got my DeWalt. Uh, well, they're not DeWalt. I've got the box for the DeWalt, but I've actually done a review because it's the Bosch flat bits. They're the best, best flat bits I think you can get because they, they have a, a little screw on the top that pulls the actual. Bit, bit in as you're doing it. I'm not, I'm not keen on auger bits. I think someone else said they prefer augers. Uh, got that. The top box. It's got my laser in and my uh, stud finder. Keep them bits safe because they're the expensive bits. So I'm going, I've got the Bosch one for that. I've had it a while. It's still the red laser, but it does the bit, does the biz. I've got my little box with all my bits in, my hole cutters. And then I've got a box that's dedicated to screw fixings because I did have the T stack. Uh, and I did, I didn't like the T-Stack because the handle snapped on it, which really annoyed me. But that box is perfect size. I've got my Tough System radio. One of the lads has actually lost a plug for that, and it's 50 quid to get a new one, so I'm not happy. Um, but it runs on batteries as well, so that's not bad. Um, I've got the DeWalt saw horses. Let's give a show around. So, and then in the back, obviously I've got my boots, my work clothes. Um, I've gone all Hiko Hikoki tools now, so I like the DeWalt Tough System toolboxes, but I've gone with Hikoki tools. So I've got my nail gun. That box is just filled with all random tools, like um, I've got my DeWalt planer, because I think that's still the best planer on the market. I've got the DeWalt plane. I've got my uh, little skill, um, what are they called? Sander, palm sander. Uh, DeWalt chop saw. I'm still waiting for the Hikoki 36 volt to come to the UK. We've not got it yet because they're actually not in stock apparently anywhere. Um, my DeWalt box at the back. That's just filled with 
junk. Like I say, I had the I had the tough tea stack system, but I just filled it with all like easy fill, sandpaper, cork, that kind of stuff. That's why the gun's on top ready to go back inside. Um, I bought this tough system. It's this is actually the workshop racking system, and it's like two hundred pounds cheaper than the actual van mount one, and it looks exactly the same. So obviously the one with the van mount, you've got different brackets. So this has got like the the metal brackets to go on. The other one, it's got big brackets that actually screw into the sides whereas this is designed to be screwed to a wall but I was thinking screwing it to the bulkhead with bolts going through and then it'd hold it still but um whether like that whether to fit it yet because I wanted to put a false floor in because I've got my fell tracks from my plunge saw and also my um six foot level and I want them to sort of like slide under the floor so like I say I've not had time to organize the van yet um I've got my biscuit jointer uh, my Lennox hole saw set. If, if anyone's not seen these, Lennox do these kits. So this is the plumber's kit because I do a lot of kitchens. I do a plumber's kit, an electrician's kit, and you get uh, you get the arbor, which is a click arbor, and that's brilliant. If you've never seen the arbor before, I recommend you get them. Um, in fact, I might do a review on them as well because um, you screw it on halfway and then you just click it in so it doesn't lock on. Like some that you've got to spin the bottom and it actually goes up and it can lock on and you can't get the bloody thing off and then the smaller one that's like a uh, spring loaded as well so they're, they're good but the Bosch actually do a good set as well but um, um i like the limits kit i've been using it for a while now and i'm happy with it um the box at the back is just filled with all my hand tools just a couple of quick clamps there uh hand tools so i've got erwin chisels they could do with a sharpen actually uh, i've got my actual sharpener there my trend sharpener like i say it's got all my junk bits in there I've still not found a place where to put my Bosch grinder, so there's a bit of room for that. I've got my worktop jig there, that's for doing my drainer grooves. Um, I've got my big jig for doing my worktops. So, anyway, it's a nice clean van. It doesn't usually look like this, I'll be honest. It usually has all sorts of crap all over the place, but that's the average... That's the average uh, van for a joiner in the UK. With it, you know, everyone knows we've got the most tools, joiners, tools for everything. But with us, we do kitchens, a lot of kitchens. So when we're doing the kitchens, obviously I've had to go back to college and I've done level one and two in plumbing, which gives me the basics so I can plumb my sink and plumb my bath in. We actually do do bathrooms. We just can't get involved in the central heating. We can change radiators, but anything to do with your gas, obviously we can't touch because we're not uh, gas safe registered. Um, we've got lads that come in and do that for us obviously subcontract it but as i say i'm just showing you the van i'll quick show as well so when you buy the van it's all it's got a, a ceiling already in it with the little lights not the greatest lights but they do the job um my old van i got some lights off um, ebay and they actually wire wire in they just stick on sticky pads and they went all the way around the ceiling they were brilliant they uh lit, they light up it's like daylight in the middle of um so yeah uh, that's the van Like I say, I'm gonna get a couple of um, reviews on because I've got my Hikoki router I just need to get a bit of a work top so I can show you how it works because I've not I've not used it yet It's like brand new just waiting for the right job to come along, but um, I'm not a kitchen job for a while. So well, a few weeks anyway, that's a bit rare for me Usually at kitchens all the time. So as soon as I get one um, I'll get the router review done for you uh, if you've got any questions, if you've got any tips on how to organise a van, put them in the comments, like to see. And also, uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Subscribe, subscribe. Let's get those uh, subscriptions up and I can get more videos done. Alright everyone, thanks for watching. I hope you like my van.